Hey, Chia. I have all these oh, left over at home. And I heard about composting. Wow, these are great. You know, there are many great ways to compost, but the best way is using worms. Did someone say worms? Composting that we have here at Leeward Community College recycles all of our food waste. Let's tell you some more about it. So, how do I turn all these into compost with worms? Well, let's show you. You're going to need a few things before we can turn this into compost. Starting with... You're going to need a bin to let the worms grow and feed on the food scraps. You need a drill. And of course, something to make holes. I like to use a one inch spade bit and a quarter inch spade bit, but really any size hole will work fine. You also need some media for the worms. So we are using newspaper here. When you're using the newspaper, make sure that you don't use a cross shredder because it's too sharp for the worms. We want really nice strips of paper that look something like this. So we have to start off by punching some holes for air. Uh, worms are animals, so of course they're gonna need to breathe. I like to use one inch but uh, pretty much any size will work. And because these things have squares, rectangles. So after you punch the holes for the air on the top, if you like, you can take a smaller bit and punch holes on the side for air. But because these holes are nice and big, we have lots of them, I'm gonna choose not to do that. A little bit less work for me. So the next step is to fill your bin with media. You're going to have to shred your paper into nice long strips, just like this. Now that you have all of your paper media, don't forget to water it. and add your food scraps. And don't forget to cover it in paper. And water some more. And then of course, don't forget the worms. Oh, by the way, if you're willing to come to campus and you would like a free handful of worms, just email us and we'll make that happen. And then you cover it. Now if you like, you can take a screen and cover this so then creepy crawlies don't get in, but that's totally optional. Cover and leave it in a shaded area to keep the worms nice and happy. And then don't forget to feed it regularly. This is a simple one bin system. Uh, it's about as simple as it gets. Uh, very effective, but what I don't really like about this system is that you have to pick out the worms when you're starting your next batch. So what I like to do is use a three bin system. We have the bottom container to collect any uh, drippings that we get, any worms that escape. We have our worms that are composting. This is where we feed them. And if you want to harvest this thing, the easiest thing to do is place your new bedding with food scraps. Don't forget the PVC pipes to give them a little space so you don't crush the worms when they move down here. And the worms will sit on top. This bin has holes drilled in the bottom so the worms can work their way through into the lower level. And cover, put it back in your shaded place, and then we're composting. And now you've turned your kitchen scraps into this, what we call black gold. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>